Welcome back everyone to The Crafting Dead. Today we have a pretty interesting episode. It's going to be a solo episode and I'm going to be attempting the Sheriff Challenge. This was brought up to one of you in the comment section. Shout out to Cherry O'Carrot. Uh, their comment will pop up on the screen. I'm going to be trying to do more challenges as well, so definitely go ahead in the comment sections and let me know your suggestions and idea that you may have for the Crafting Dead, and I'll be looking and taking a look at that and pretty much picking out the ones that look most interesting, and I'm going to make a big list, so we're going to try to get through all of them, so keep sending me a lot of challenging uh, challenges if that's if that makes sense so yeah do that so welcome back like I said to the craft and dead I'm really excited today because we're gonna be taking part in the sheriff challenge and I definitely recommend all of you trying this as well uh, so we're at the shop right now and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create our sheriff kit so we're gonna do slash shop and now we're gonna figure out what type of clothing what type of guns we want to use and what type of uh, backpacks and whatnot to ultimately look like a sheriff so we're gonna try our best here so obviously they have the sheriff clothing we're gonna go and get that and uh, now I'm gonna try to think what would they have like a sheriff will definitely have a pistol so we're gonna do uh, let's do an M191 and then I guess for well, we're obviously gonna need a pretty heavy-duty gun if we're in a zombie apocalypse so I'm gonna say like the classic, I think FNFAL is by far my favorite. I love this one. So we're going to go ahead and purchase it. Actually, instead of buying one, maybe I can go back to the base so I can save some money. But then again, I'm just kind of a little too lazy for that. So we're just going to buy it. And then we're going to go ahead and get ourselves some ammo for that, which I believe is right here. So we'll just get two clips. I think two mags is enough for that. Um, and then for melee weapon, I think as a sheriff... In a zombie apocalypse, it would I'd be ideal to maybe have a baseball bat. I don't know, sledgehammer. Obviously, there's a nightstick. I mean, you know what? We'll get a nightstick. I think a nightstick will kind of work out. Why not? We'll do a nightstick. Uh, let's get some water with us. Maybe two water bottles. That should do. Medical kit. Maybe they'll definitely have like uh, a bandage and a med pack. That should be good. So for gear, we'll just have like a basic tactical. So we'll just do. Uh, let's do these two colors. Those should work out. And let me know what you think about these kits that I'm designing. I think they're going to be pretty cool looking. And then there's a sheriff's hat or a chief's hat. So let's go ahead and put on what we just created. Hopefully it'll look kind of cool. Uh, so let's see. Let's put this all on right now. Uh, we have an FNFAL. That's pretty much everything. All right. So, oh, we forgot to get, uh, some mags for our pistol as well. So I believe for that, uh, do they have ammo for that gun? Yeah, they do. Okay, so we'll just get two two mags for that as well. So we're going to reload this. Uh, let's do that real quick. Reload this as well. We have our nightstick. Uh, we can actually put this on the side as a sidearm, so we're going to do that. Okay, you already saw what it kind of looks like, and it looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. All right, so this is our kit, and I'm... Act did he drop something for us? He did. Oh, that's crazy. It has ammo. Okay, so an M4A1. So I'm not going to try to lose this. So we're going to go and do Vault 2. And I'm just going to throw that in there. Thank you. Uh, I believe it was uh, Mist MC who dropped off that amazing gun. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to you if you're watching this video, by the way. Uh, but yeah, so we have our kit. Do we have any food, though? Let's check it out. I don't think we did get any food. So we're just going to do some classic uh, tactical bacon. I feel like that's pretty decent. So let me know what you think about this kit. I absolutely love it. And I think I'm going to try to use this kit more often because I really like the way it looks on my skin. And I want to get a, a poll in the comment sections or something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's wearing a fireman's hat. That's kind of cool. Uh, I want to figure out in the comment sections, do I return to my old skin or do I keep the current skin? I'm going to put two images on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Let me know in the comment sections by voting one for old skin and two for the new Derpy Fox skin. Let me know your suggestions in the comment sections and we'll look into it. Uh, in the meantime, I really want to check out this dude's uh, helmet. That looks really cool. That looks, is that new? I don't remember seeing that. Some of this stuff must be new. Uh, no, some of this has been here. But I know they're working on some cool stuff coming soon. So just stay tuned for that. And I did want to talk about something. I'm going to throw up some screenshots. Um, it's pretty much something that's on the Craft and Dead Twitter. And it was a bow and arrow, which will look absolutely awesome. So I'm looking forward for that to be potentially added in the Craft and Dead. So stay tuned for that. All right. I don't think they're following us. Um, so I'm going to do something and just make my way out of here. Alright, I'm going to make my way out of here and just see 
if uh, we can survive this. I don't know what to expect. Obviously, someone can come right up and just take us out, and that is what it is. I didn't get handcuffs. That's the one thing we needed. Oh, uh, let's go back to the... Okay, we got to go back. That's a little funny. We forgot the most important thing, which is handcuffs, because we do want to handcuff some people, and I think they sell them at the shop. I'm pretty sure they sell them at the shop. Let's go ahead and see. Um, do they sell handcuffs? Maybe they don't. Now that I think about it, maybe they don't. Maybe that's why I didn't really pick up on it. That's building equipment. Uh, I don't think they sell handcuffs. Okay, not a big deal. We could probably find that. We probably have some at our base, but I'm not going to go looking around for that. So it's, it is what it is. Um, so let's go ahead and see. I think there's a building to our left that I want to check out or somewhere straightforward. I don't know what it's on the map. I think it's, is that someone's base? No, that's definitely a building. I don't think that's anyone's base. So the map is like glitching out a little bit. There's some zombies in the tree. Oh, whoa. Is this new? I can't tell if this looks new. Um, hey, bro. I'm a big fan. If you need help with your base or anything, give me a shout. Shout out to Mama Snack. I appreciate it so much. Uh, thank you for the shout out. All right, shout out to you. I don't know why. I was just saying thank you for the shout out. Are they aggroed someone else? They're probably not. Okay. You know what? How do I get my pistol out again? I forget. It's not C. It's not working. So this is probably a different command. All right. Nightstick is working amazing right now. Uh, let's go back inside. Anyone in here? Hello? Nope. No one in here. Okay. It, it seems to be looted out completely. Oh, yeah. It's definitely looted out completely. Okay. So I'm going to set a waypoint for us. What I want to go is let's go to... Ooh, we're a bit far out. Let's go to this building right here. So we're going to have to set a waypoint. We can't really set the waypoint because I haven't died there. But I, all I know is I'm going to have to walk in this direction, I believe. Yeah. Wait. Um, Hold on. It's a bit f more in this direction, I think. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to walk on in this direction and see if we can find anyone in that area. I don't know why it's glitching out on this side so much but we're just gonna have to forget about that and carry on i'm hoping though i'm hoping we run into some people that's the kind of goal of it so i'll be interested to see that by the way i also wanted to mention go ahead and check out my fan discord down below in the uh description there's also a twitter you can check out as well you can stay updated with a lot of cool things um and just kind of stay tuned for that because i am going to be uploading a brand new series to the channel that's going to be coming up sometime this week so stay tuned for that. It is a uh, survival SMP. Not for the Craft and Dead, but for 1.14 with some really cool data packs and some amazing members. And it's going to be an awesome season one. Now, I say season one because there's also going to be multiple seasons to it, which is very exciting. And I'm just looking to have some fun with that. And I know a lot of you have been saying in the comment sections, um, where is the survival let's play? And, you know, is it ever coming back? So I think this is the combination of best of both worlds where I can kind of interact with other content creators and uh, keep this series running for multiple seasons. And I just need some opinions on uh, for the series name, like the, the name of the S&P. That's something I want to come up with. So if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and let me know in the comment sections. Um, but if I didn't already, I'm pretty sure I did. But shout out to uh, Cherry O'Carrot with the inspiration for um, helping out with this challenge. Now, are we getting anywhere nearby? Okay. Oh, yeah, we are getting pretty close. All right, we got to be careful here. We're definitely going to try not to use slash near. So we'll keep it kind of a little bit interesting. That way we don't feel OP'd. I mean, as a police or as a sheriff, we're just, we're not really going to um, kind of think someone's guilty of something. We're just going to just check on the area and make sure it's all good and see if there's anyone around. Um, it reminds me of obviously the crafting, uh, the walking dead. If you guys remember Rick Grimes, uh, the first season, he's a sheriff. So this is kind of what it's inspired like, and it's pretty cool. All right, check this out. Oh, this looks pretty cool. I'm going to try to take a screenshot right now because who knows if we're going to die. I don't want to die, but obviously that, you know, that could happen realistically. All right. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of this because this is amazing. There we go. And I think I've only been here a few times and the last, uh, like, I think this is episode 10. I believe this is the 10th episode. So I think episode 20 is when we're going to switch over to Dead Island. I would, I think that would be a lot of fun um, if we can do that. That would be a big thing. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment sections. Obviously, there's a lot of things left to do. I'm going to just take some screenshots since we're here. Um, all right, let's go in here and see. I don't see anyone atop. I don't see anyone around here. 
I see a lot of zombies. I mean, it kind of puts... It doesn't really concern me too much when I see a lot of zombies. Uh, military ID required beyond this point. I think a sheriff is more than more than allowed to come through here. Especially a post-apocalyptic world. Alright, there's a lot of stuff around here. I remember there's some crazy things that go on down here. Yeah, it's like a nuclear test launch area. Alright, let's go and collect some loot. We have some uh, dead bull. We'll drink that up real quick. Just collect some of the stuff here. A clean rag. Okay, so far some good loot, actually. I don't see anyone nearby. There is someone nearby. Wait, was that someone right there? I'm going to say, is anyone near? All right, I think there is, I don't know if that was a zombie, but they were walking quite fast. I can't tell. Can't tell. All right, I'm just going to take out these zombies real quick. Oh, this is, this is, this is interesting. I don't know if there's anyone nearby. <laughs> um... I think that was a zombie. I'm going to sneak out here and see. I don't see anyone anymore. I, I could be honestly mistaken right now that there maybe was someone here, but maybe there isn't. Because it doesn't look like there's anyone here. Yeah, no. I don't see anyone. I think I just had a, a moment right there. But there are a lot of... Oh, not a big zombie. Oh, no. These are the worst. I'm just going to try to go around. The big zombies take out the most ammo, and I just don't want to deal with that right now. All right. So, I thought I saw someone, and I was mistaken. So, I think we're okay right now. I think we're okay. Uh, let's go ahead and use this rag. We are... Can we use this rag? No, we don't need it. Okay. We just got to eat up some food. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, yeah. The zombies are aggro to us. So, pretty much, we're going to just take out these zombies around here i don't want to use all my ammo so i'm gonna keep looking around and see if we can find any supplies i think the goal is what i want oh, there's a zombie in here too okay i want to use my pistol for scoping out rooms oh what i forgot there's pressure plates oh this is bad come on reload 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 we're getting oh we're getting overrun oh this is bad Oh, this is not good. We're getting overrun here. We can close these up. Oh, how'd you get in? What? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's get a Bravo kit. What, what do we get from that? Absolutely nothing. I don't even think... I think we got... I don't even know what we got from that. Um, let me see if I have in my Volt. Volt 2. Do I have an RBI? I do not have an RBI. Slash Volt 3. I was aware... Okay, we have an RBI bottle. We just need a syringe, so... I think Volt 1 probably has a syringe. There we go. Okay, that's always handy. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Get ourselves an RBI cure so we don't die from an infection. What's interesting is you also have one of these here. There's a forge over here. So you don't even have to go... You can actually find them... Um, that you could just use them in public, which is pretty neat. Alright, so those zombies aren't going to give us any problems until we want to leave. So let's go ahead and loot out. We got some more water. I'll definitely go ahead and drink this. Slash near 10. There's no one nearby. I thought I heard someone reload. Slash near 60. There's no one nearby. Okay. There's a ton of zombies. This zombie really wants to come in here. We got to get out of here some way or another. So I'm going to reload this. I think this gun is out of ammo completely. So we're just going to go ahead and let them in slowly. Okay. There we go. I think we're doing good here. Did that one just open up? Oh, no. I think that was me. But... Okay. We got to get out of here. This is really a trap. I'm not going to lie. This was a pretty bad trap. Why is this not opening up? <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. Abort. Oh, man. Abort. Oh, wow. Okay. There's This place is seriously overrun. All right. This place is seriously packed with zombies. Where do they keep coming from? Look at all of them. Okay. Now we're really out of ammo. All right. You know what? This, this calls for backup. Vault 3. Uh, we don't have Vault 3 open right now. We don't have a gun in there. Vault 2. 
This is shout out to the person who gave us the gun. It really just saved our lives just now. So thank you for this. Where are all these zombies coming from? These are all pretty big zombies. All right, let's see if they're smart enough to fall inside here. I want to just continue to loot this place out. There's a... Wait a second. Okay, we just found a lot of medical gear. Okay, no one, please do not kill me right now. I don't know if this place was looted out. If this uh, military crate was looted out. Or if someone just left the medical gear. But it could have been a medical uh, supply drop. Let's take out some of these zombies. Because, I mean, I, I, if I was someone, if I was a random person, I would definitely have taken all that stuff. But that that's really strange. Alright, I'm going to toss this out. I'm going to try to go here just quickly. So I can put some of this stuff in a vault. Oh, they keep... They're, they're pretty quick. I'm not going to lie. They're pretty uh, aggressive. They don't want to quit. Uh, slash vault three. I'm going to throw all this in here. This is a lot of medicine that we can use. Okay, that's really good. Okay. Let's carry on and see if I can find some ammo. I think some of this might be able to... Oh, water bottle. What else is in here? Another water bottle. I'll take some of that gear. Okay, this is insane. There is a lot of zombies. This place totally got overrun completely. Um, Any more military loot? Probably not. Let's toss that out. Do we have any more food? Tactical food. Okay, we can eat that up real quick. I'm completely out of ammo. I did not prep for how much ammo I thought I was going to go through. I thought I was going to go through a lot less. And I was mistaken. Alright, what I want to do is I want to go down. So, I'm going to try to find out how we can do that. I know there's a, a way to get down there. I just can't think of it. I'm just going to push you off. There you go. You know what? That's actually another idea. Pushing them off over there. <laughs> there's a ton of zombies coming through. All right. I think we really got to like either push them out down there. Is there a way for us to just climb down there? I don't remember. I think we have to go through this building. And they're all going to chase me down in here, aren't they? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Making progress. I don't think they can go down ladders. Uh, what? Is there a button? How does this work? Where is the... Okay. That's that's strange. Where can we go downstairs from? Is there like a... Is this... Maybe that's what opens it up? Let's check it out. Let's see if that did the trick. That's a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. What? Open up! <laughs> How do I get in here? Oh, no. This is bad. They're, they're in here, aren't they? Okay, okay. Alright, that didn't work. You know, we're just gonna go to the roof. I guess there isn't really a way to go down there. Maybe that has to be fixed. Not entirely sure. What do we got here? An MPT. That's pretty good, actually. I'm surprised we didn't run into anyone here at all. I was hoping that someone would, would bump into us. That's kind of how I like to do things. Uh, code red launch. Wait, hold on. Does this do anything? Maybe like one of these will turn something. There's a lawn switch. Okay. Everything seems to be on. <laughs> Everything seems to be on. Can we just like launch this somehow? That'd be amazing. Is this a new weapon too? I'm not sure. Um, all right. That's some more ammo. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else up top here that we can find. What is this? Five, seven. Not too, not too bad. A C4 detonator. All right, there's no one around here at all, which is kind of cool. Oh, this is a really cool view. Oh, 44 Magnum. Okay, so we got some ammo. This thing is really loud, by the way. Um, okay, this is actually really cool. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to get a screenshot because this is a really cool view. It's not every day you get a view like that. Okay. I don't see anyone at all. I'm going to do near 100. I'm surprised no one has gone around here. That's interesting. Okay. So we're just going to go back down, and I think we're going to end off today's episode. This place is crazy. Like, I honestly just want to explore this place more in the next episode with some more people. That would be kind of cool. Now, I wonder if, if any of those have switched off one of the doors. I would be surprised, but I don't think they did. No, see, they didn't. Okay, so I don't know why that, that's not working, but i uh, not really entirely sure. Welcome, check-in, questions... Is there anything in here? Nothing there. Popcorn. Broken chainsaw. A few zombies out there. 
All right, all right, not too bad. All right, so I'm going to leave this place. But yeah, that that's going to conclude today's episode. I know I was hoping that there were going to be more people we'd run into, but I think it would be interesting to save that for another time. Maybe we'll get a, another uh, police officer with us or someone else to join us, and we'll have some fun. Now, this is for all of you to be aware of. If you're on the Atlanta server, definitely just get involved. Uh, if I'm on there, I will let you all know so you guys can maybe get some role-playing going on while I'm on here. That could be something interesting, so let me know in the comment sections if you want to see that. And that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching today's episode. I really love this skin. This skin is absolutely amazing. This is like the perfect skin for my character. I'm just going to take a screenshot like right over here. Let's do screenshot like that. Hold on. There we go. That's honestly... <laughs> I love this skin. Um, I like I like the character pretty much. But like I said, let me know in the comment sections if you want to see this skin or the older skin. I like the older skin as well. It's part of this channel for a while now, so I'd like to bring it back potentially. So let me know in the comment sections. That's going to conclude today's episode. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching The Craft and Dead. Stay tuned for more. A lot of cool things coming with the role play. Uh, and a lot of new series and a lot of cool updates to the craft and dead as well. My name is Alex and peace out and stay foxy.